Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Westman with Adapt Your Life, and this video has to do with counting carbs. Do you use total carbs? Do you use net carbs? What's the difference? And we'll go over some of the Adapt products as well. There are two ways to count carbs, total carbs and net carbs. Total carbs is where you count everything, including the fiber, including the sugar alcohols. You just look at the total carbohydrate number on the label. So if it says total carbohydrate, five grams, five G, G means grams, you count that as five. If it says zero G, total carbohydrate, zero grams, you count that as zero carbs, total carbs. Net carbs came about in, for several different reasons. One is to be able to make products that had more carbs in them to make it look like they were lower. <laughs> and uh, that trips up some people, unfortunately. If you're trying to stay keto, especially you wanna do total carbs, not net carbs. Net carbs teaches that you subtract the fiber because for most people, the fiber doesn't impact the blood sugar, although for some people it does. And then with net carbs, you also subtract the sugar alcohols. And so you come up with this net carb calculation. It can work for those who are otherwise healthy, young, active. Um, if you're metabolically ill, I don't recommend using net carbs because it may not work. And you might think that the low carb or keto diet doesn't work for you because you only did the net carbs. Another way to say it is net carbs is like the over-the-counter medicine. It can work for a lot of people, but if you want a prescription strength medicine, uh, and the reason I use total carbs is I want, to work, I want it to work for everyone the first time. So that's why I use total carbs in the clinic uh, where I teach people uh, what to do. So when you look at a ADAPT product, for example, um, the Keto Mini Bars, which are the kind of flagship product, um, first came in flavors uh, without nuts, and now they have nuts in them, which I have to say is added another dimension to them. So when you look at the Mini Keto Bars, or ADAPT Keto Bar technically, you look on the front, it says three total carbs, one gram net carbs. So we're going to use the total carb calculation. If you stay under 20 for the day, which is our initial teaching, if you want to be ketogenic, then you might have one or two bars for the day. Of course, if they're a trigger food and you can't stop eating them, then you don't want to go there yet. Uh, but they're very handy. I'll take them on a trip, keep them in uh, my backpack, uh, my briefcase, just in case if I'm somewhere on a plane, traveling, there are no good options. So check out the keto bars, especially if you don't want to raise the blood sugar at all. Um, now, the other important thing about the ADAPT products is there aren't a whole lot of extra additives and preservatives. So when you look at the ingredients, it's whey protein, palm kernel oil, coconut flakes, almond. I mean, it's basically clean food. So that's the other important part about the ADAPT products. Not only are they low in sugar and total carbs, but they're also very clean without a lot of preservatives in them. So check out the, uh, the nut bars. So if you're familiar with the keto bar, this is a new flavor that uh, you might like even better. Um, also here's the um, chocolate nut one, uh, the keto bar, uh, also call them minis just to show that they're small. Um, now when you look at the new line of bars that just came out this year, these are very different. These I find these to be um, a little more tasty. I mean, there are a little more, uh, a little more carbs in them. So when you look at them, you could look at the front and well, it doesn't. It says only one gram sugar. It doesn't say the net carb. It does say more love, less sugar, which is a great logo, don't you think? Great tagline. Um, but um, here for the nutrition facts label, you look and it says. 17 g so 17 grams total carbohydrate now that's going to be a little higher you don't want to eat more than a bar or half the bar if you're staying keto but uh these are also very filling very tasty um, it's also being these are being developed for folks who don't necessarily have to be ketogenic or to be keto uh, you know our intention is that these will be on the shelf 
where the general consumer will be um, uh, drawn toward them because they have less sugar. And that's kind of the big picture view. We want everyone to reduce their sugar consumption. Again, the uh, ingredients, almonds, sunflower seeds, macadamias, very tasty, very, very good. Uh, no, excellent, I must say. Um, but then the uh, nut and seed bar, only one gram of sugar. This is the macadamia. This is my particular favorite, actually. Um, has 16 G, 16 grams. And so you might want to have half a bar if you're keto, the whole bar. Um, I find these to be, you know, pretty much uh, instead of a meal at times. Um, remember, you don't have to eat unless you're hungry. Those principles, of course. Now, the protein bar is also a, a new product this year, and it's very delicious. Uh, it reminds me of a, um, of a Tootsie Roll. Uh, I haven't had one of those in a long time, and uh, I don't eat the whole bar at one sitting. I have a few bites set it aside, uh, which is another technique that you don't have to eat the whole serving size. Um, total carbs here is uh, 19 G, 19 grams. So again, it's a little high for the keto level uh, carb restriction, but uh, the new bars are delicious. Um, and, you know, if you want to test them out, may I recommend that you check out a variety pack because you can get a taste of all the different uh, new bars that we have um, and or the uh, keto minis as well. I really want to know what you think about these. I met a lot of people this year at Adapt events around the country, and I, uh, as you know, sales of these bars will contribute toward these events continuing next year. So check them out, give them for Hanukkah, Christmas gifts. Um, let us know down below what you think about the bars and look at the total grams, not net, uh, but I think you'll love these. I'm Dr. Eric Westman. Until the next time.